After all these years, he still has all these pictures. Even though they're not his kids, even though he hasn't seen some of them in decades, Larry Scandon still treasures every frame. Because I think about him all the time. Over 14 years, Larry took in more than 100 foster kids. He'd often have 10 at a time, each with more baggage than the next. I had a kid whose birthday present on his seventh birthday was cocaine. Good guy. He always took some of our very toughest kids that came from very uh, difficult homes. Mike Stevens was the juvenile probation supervisor who brought Larry many of the kids. No, no, he is, I can't say enough good about him. He would always say, hey, I'm willing to try, and he always was. And he tried until the nth degree. He never gave up on kids. All this despite a rare neurological disorder that continues to whittle away at his mobility. Larry says he really wanted to have his own kids, but after the love of his life turned down his marriage proposal in 72, and after a 10-year career as a parole officer, his goal shifted from fathering to fostering. He stopped taking new kids long ago, but never stopped thinking about the old ones. Life is tenuous, so if you're, gonna, if you're thinking about them, why are you thinking about them? It's now time to go out there and find them. What happened next surprised even Larry. The kids not only came back. You can't get any better than that. They brought their kids, made him part of their families, and of course, thanked Larry profusely <laughs> for being the parent their parents weren't. Human physical contact did not exist in my life. Jason, now a chef, says Larry gave him the first hug of his life. John, a construction worker, says Larry gave him his first real birthday party. 16? At 16. That's your first birthday party? Well, no, but the first one I ever want to remember. Finally, one other thing. Remember that woman who said no to his wedding proposal? Well, 25 years later, she said yes. Her name is Peg, and she seems to be enjoying her new family almost as much as Larry. He ended up with the woman of your dreams. He ended up with all these kids and all these grandkids. You want to tell me there's no God? I will call you, okay? It's been a great life. <laughs> Larry is still looking for quite a few of his kids, so if you're listening, I promise he'd love to hear from you. Mm, fantastic story. A lot of tears at Larry's house come reunion time. Yes, like. and Larry's a very emotional guy, too, so. Yeah.